Hi, welcome back to this new video and today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the advanced shipping rates for your WooCommerce store. You must be selling products, but if you are having the headache of shipping rates, then this video is going to be very, very helpful. So here we are going to take two different scenarios. The case one would be if someone place an order and the order value is below $500, then you're going to charge the shipping fees of $17. And if the order value is in between $500 to $1,000, then there would be a different shipping fees, let's say $20. And if the order value is above $1,000, then the shipping fees will of course be free. Why you will be charging a shipping fees when someone is placing an order of value $1,000? Well, I'm just kidding. It is completely up to you how much shipping charge you would like to charge with the customer or if you are willing to make it free or not. And in the next scenario, let's say you are having an online store in United States. Now, when someone place an order from United States itself, then there will be no shipping fees. But if someone place an order who is living outside USA, in that case, there will be a different shipping charge of around $50. So these are some kind of different shipping conditions that we are going to apply in your WooCommerce store today. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel, please do not forget to subscribe this channel. And at the end, if this video was helpful, please do not leave the channel without hitting the like button. So without wasting much time, let's start this video. My name is Saddam Qasim. I'm your WordPress instructor. Let's jump onto my laptop screen. This is the WooCommerce website on which I'm going to integrate the advanced shipping rates for WooCommerce. So let's add a product to the cart. We can jump on the cart page. And here we have no shipping rates. Let's move on the checkout page as well. So there is no shipping rates available for the customer. So let's go ahead and we can integrate the shipping rates into our WooCommerce website. We are going to use this premium plugin WooCommerce advanced shipping that costs $23 on the code Canon website, but you can save a lot of money. Simply go on to website that is wpscratch.com. And from this website, you can get the exact same plugin for just $10 in the product search box. We can search for WooCommerce advanced shipping. So this is the plugin WooCommerce advanced shipping exact same plugin which is available on codecanon.net. So here you can see the price just $10 and you can use it on unlimited websites. Simply click on add to cart and buy this plugin. It will be downloaded in .zip format on your computer. I have already purchased this plugin. So let's go ahead and we can install this plugin into our WooCommerce website. Simply hover on plugins then click on add new. As the plugin is already downloaded on your laptop on your computer in zip format, so we have to upload that plugin into our WooCommerce website. Simply click on upload plugin button, then click on browse and we have to find out the plugin. So this is the plugin that I have already purchased WooCommerce advanced shipping. Simply open it and then install and activate this plugin. Okay, so the plugin has successfully been activated into our WooCommerce website. Now we just need to jump on WooCommerce and then click on settings. Okay. It's time to set up the shipping. So simply click on shipping tab. So now we are on the shipping page and here we have a new option advanced shipping. Let's click on it. Now make sure this option should be enabled, enable advanced shipping. The second checkbox is optional. So we can leave it as it is. It's time to add a new shipping rate. So simply click on add shipping rate. Now case one is that we are going to put a condition when the order value is below $500, then there will be a shipping fees of $17 applicable. So in this title box, we can write a title something like order is less or equal to $500. So this title is just for our reference. Now this is the condition box where we can put the conditions. So from this drop down, there are so many options you can choose from. I'm just going to choose the subtotal and here we have equal to. So let's choose less or equal to. That means if subtotal is less or equal to 500, then what will happen? Shipping cost will be $17 and in the shipping title box, you can give any title something like shipping fee. If you would like to apply the handling fees and cost per item, you can put those numbers as well. I'm just leaving them as it is at last click on publish. Now let's open the website into a new tab and we can try to jump on the cart page. So here we can see the subtotal is of $139, which is below $500. 
that is the reason shipping fees of $17 is applicable. So the total price is $156. So one condition has already met. Now let's go ahead and we can add the another condition. So we can simply click on return to overview. Now it's time to add another shipping rate. Simply click on add shipping rate button again. Second condition is if the order value is in between $501 to $1000. So here we can type order value in between $501 to $1000. Now the same condition we have to set over here. If subtotal greater or equal to 500 and we have to add one more condition subtotal less or equal to 1000. So now you can see over here according to the rule of 501 to 1000 this condition is perfectly matched. If the subtotal value is greater than 500 that means it will start with 501 and less than $1000 then the shipping price will be 20 bucks. Again, we can give the same title shipping fees and then publish. Now let's jump on the card page. We can refresh it. So right now the card subtotal value is 139. Let's increase the quantity. Okay. And update the card. So right now this order value exists in between $501 to $1,000. So here you can see the shipping fees is $20. Now let's add the third shipping rate. Again, go back to return to overview. Then again, click on add shipping rate. And here we can type order greater than $1,001 or $1,000. So it's time to set the condition subtotal equals not greater or equal to 1001, right? then shipping cost will be zero and here we can give a title free shipping let's publish it's time to test it on the front end once again okay let's increase the quantity so it will be more than one thousand dollars update card here we go so you can see the order value is 1946 which is more than 1001 dollars so the shipping fees is free shipping so in this way you can set the shipping price as per the conditions now it's time to add the shipping rate as per the countries. So click on return to overview once again. So we are back on the advanced shipping page. Now let's delete all these condition first. Otherwise, when I will be creating the shipping rules according to the countries, then these conditions will collide with each other. So let's delete all these subtotal based shipping rules. Okay, now it's time to add a new shipping rate. So in the add title box, I'm just adding the shipping rules for non US residents. So here I can type non US residents. Now from this drop down, you have to choose the country option. So this is the country if country equals to. So here we have to choose not equal to United States. Right. So this rule will be applicable to all the people who are not living in US. So what could be the shipping price for those people? Let's say $90 will be the shipping fees. Let's publish. Let's test it on the front page. This change will better be visible on the checkout page. So let's click on proceed to checkout. Now here we can change the countries. So let's say I'm going to choose Bahamas and here you can see $90 is the shipping fees because Bahamas is a non US country. It's not United States. In the same way, if I choose Belgium, the same price $90. But if I choose United States, see, it is asking enter your address to view shipping options because we haven't set any rules for the country US. So it's time to add a rule for US as well. Let's click on return to overview. Okay. And then add shipping rate. Let's give a title for US residents. Now, if country is equal to United States, then shipping cost will be $5. And here we can give a title shipping fees. Let's publish and it's time to refresh the checkout page. Okay. Firstly, let's choose a different country UK. So $90 is the shipping fees. Now when I select United States, the shipping fees is $5. So this is how you can set up the different different shipping rates to your WooCommerce store. And there are so many different conditions on the basis of which you can specify the shipping rules or shipping rates to the products. I hope the video was helpful. Please like this video, subscribe this channel. And if you want me to make a separate video on your topic, just let me know in the comment section. Till then, thank you so much and have a wonderful day.